In this section, we're going to walk through installation of React Native on OS X. So if you are not on a Mac, or you do not want to install uh, iOS specifically, if you instead want to go with Android, you'll want to jump to the next section where we'll talk about the installation of Android on either uh, OS X or on Windows. So just make sure that you're in the right place uh, and you go through at least one of these setup tracks, just one of them. So the setup that we're going to go through inside this section for iOS on OS X is going to be identical, nearly identical, to the installation directions that are provided in the official React Native documentation. Let's pull that documentation up just to start. In my browser, I'm going to make a new tab and search for React Native. And then I'll click on the Getting Started link right here. So this is the documentation for getting started with Mac and iOS. We will go through these instructions right here, so if you get lost at any point in time, you can always come back to these directions. But I will tell you right now that we're going to go through the setup with a lot more detail than what's listed right here. I just want you to know that these directions do exist. So let's get started with the setup. I want you to know right now, and this is going to hold true throughout the entire course, with any tutorial I write, it is very important to me that you understand exactly why we are installing each tool and why we write each line of code. So before we start doing that installation, we're going to just have a very quick discussion about the purpose of each of these dependencies and exactly what we are installing. The first dependency that we're going to install is Xcode. Xcode is Apple's official IDE for building software for nearly any official Apple device, like iPhones, iWatches, or Mac laptops. We will be using Xcode to build our apps and install them on a mobile device. Xcode also comes bundled with the iOS simulator, which is a tool used to run mobile apps directly on your desktop or laptop. Second, we'll be installing Homebrew. Homebrew is a Mac OS X dependency management program which we're going to use for exactly one purpose, just to install Node. That's kind of the funny thing about these, this setup here. You have to install programs just to install programs. It always kind of struck me as a little bit funny. Anyways, after we install uh, Homebrew, we'll use it to install Node and NPM. Node and NPM are a package deal of sorts. They ins are installed at the same time. Node will be used to run JavaScript outside the browser, which is what we're going to be doing while NPM is used for dependency management. In our case, we'll be using Node to process some JavaScript files that we'll be creating. The JavaScript that we write will be uh, processed by Node and then pumped into our React Native application, but we'll talk all about that later on. Third, or excuse me, fourth, we'll be installing Watchmen. Watchmen is a program developed by Facebook for exactly one purpose, watching files on a hard drive and noticing when they get changed. Watchmen will be used by React Native to automatically process changes to our code base and update the mobile app that we're working on. Uh, in practice, we don't actually have to do anything with Watchmen besides install it. Uh, the React Native package manager, or excuse me, the React Native command line tool will take care of everything from there. Speaking of which, the last thing that we'll install is the React Native command line interface. This has two purposes, the first of which is to generate new React Native projects. And the second is to run our projects in either the iOS or I, excuse me, iOS or Android simulator. So that's the purpose of each piece here. A couple different items to install, and we're going to get started right now. First, with Xcode. So we're going to start off with installing Xcode, and then we'll continue in the next section with everything else to, to install as well. Let me tell you right now one thing about Xcode, very important remark. Even if you already have Xcode installed, I beg you, please, 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 go through the Xcode installation process and make sure that you do not have any pending updates. In other words, make sure you have the latest version of Xcode. You would not believe the number of problems I've uh, troubleshot that were caused by out of, uh, out of date versions of Xcode. So it's just, it's really low hanging fruit. If you just do the update right now, you'll be good to go. So let's walk through the installation process. I'm going to first open up the App Store. So I'm gonna hit Command Space to bring up the Spotlight Search and then look for App Store. The App Store is kind of notoriously slow, but once it actually boots up, on the top right-hand side, I will search for Xcode. And then we'll get our search results eventually. Like, you know, eventually. All right, there we go. And on the very top left, I have the Xcode result. So I'll open up Xcode. 
And I've already got Xcode installed myself, uh, but go ahead, if you have, do not have it installed, this button will be green. Click install and go through the installation process. Like one or two windows will pop up and it'll just say, hey, you know, accept the uh, license agreement or what have you. Just click accept, accept, and it will install Xcode for you. If you already have Xcode installed, so really important, if you already have Xcode installed, again, I beg you, please come up here to the top right to the updates tab and just verify that you have the latest version of Xcode. Once it, fine, there we go. So you can see that uh, you know I installed an Xcode update a couple days ago, uh, version 7.3. If you have a newer version, no problem whatsoever. Just make sure that you've got the latest version of Xcode installed. Okay, so that's it. That's Xcode in a nutshell. Uh, if you are going through the installation right now, continue with that. We're going to take a quick break and then come back in the next section and start walking through our node installation. <laughs>